I'm here in my car and it's raining outside, obviously. A lot of people asked me what I was doing before I started living in my car. About three years ago I got promoted from flipping burgers at McDonald's to management consulting for my boss, the boomer. The job sounded fancy but I was actually just his assistant. I was doing all the heavy lifting while he was taking the day off to put beer in belly. I wasn't comfortable working the job. I wasn't happy at all. After a particularly boring meeting, I decided to quit. I went on eBay and bought a trailer for my car. I converted it into a mobile kitchen and started my own street food. Suck on that McDonald's. It was better working for myself than for the annoying boomer. But then everything came crashing down. My parents said I did a big mistake, they disowned me. I had a nice life, me and my parents living together, I was playing video games in my room every night. But it all ended. I had to sell my trailer and everything else I had, my computer and my PlayStation. Now I live alone in my car, with no responsibilities. I thought I'll be happy being free, without the job and compromises, but it took me six months just to chill. But it's becoming better. During these months I was constantly moving around, trying to find something fulfilling, a new experience, but I was just agitated. It's hard to be alone all the time, but if you can get used to it, you'll feel better. You'll feel better when you compare yourself to people who need company and relationships all the time. They can't be alone for a single day, they're so dependent on others. I've been spending time alone more and more, but I still feel the need to communicate through YouTube videos. This is one of the things that keeps me stable mentally. Even if I am somewhat stable most days, I can get derailed easily. The other week I went on Tinder and swiped right all day. To my surprise I got a match. I was so excited. I texted her, but she never replied. I felt so upset. That cold night in my car I had made this whole fantasy about getting a nice girlfriend and all the nice things we could do together but suddenly it wasn't going to happen anymore. I felt so alone in my car that cold night. I haven't felt alone in my car until then. I hate Tinder. I will never use it again. People are so unreliable. Well, at least traveling alone in your car and seeing the world is something nice, I guess. Actually, I don't like it. I tried making this video to tell you how cool it is to live in your car but it's not. It actually sucks. Ah!